Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello everyone, thank you again for joining me for another exciting recipe. Exciting recipe and episode 2 of my simple suppers. I hope you are inspired to try more of my recipes. My name is Fafa Gilbert and I love creative African cooking. However, today I'm actually making my own pizza, the Ndudu Smoky Pizza. Yes, you heard it right. <laughs> now let's start cooking. So to your bowl, you actually would need your salt because we're going to be making the bread from scratch. And um, you add your flour. I've always said add your salt first and then add your flour. Your salt shouldn't come in contact with your yeast. And then add your sugar. And at this point, I'm going to be adding my yeast. The reason why you do not add your salt directly to the yeast is it would actually kill the yeast, which means your bread won't rise. And at this point, I'm actually adding my yogurt. Now, yogurt actually makes the bread softer and it gives it this moisture and it's just great. And also add a glug of beautiful olive oil, extra virgin oil that is, because you want this to be flavorful. At this point, I'm actually using my mixer, so I've actually put it to this lower setting just to try and mix everything together for now before I actually then add the lukewarm water. The water should be warm enough that what you can actually dip your finger in. You don't want it hot, hot, but it's just the temperature that your finger can actually accommodate. And I'm going to be adding about 65 milliliters of water. However, as I would say, is just keep an eye on it. Just you need just enough water for the dough to actually just bind. Well, so you actually just see that it's binding. You don't need to add any more water. And then just keep mixing everything together. Now, if you actually mix it by hand, you'd mix everything by hand till you form this beautiful dough or ball and then you need to knead it for about 20 minutes so you need to activate your core and your bicep it's great it's a great thing to do i'm sure burning the calories and then enjoying your meal after at this point your dough should actually be glossy shiny and springy as well and this is how you need it if you need it by hand you actually use your palm and I'm just manipulating the dough to activate um, the gluten in it now once you actually touch the dough it should spring back up then you know your dough is perfectly ready now I'm going to leave this dough to rise so you cover with a cling film and just because I cannot wait I actually just place it in front of my oven at a very low temperature so that it's warm and it actually rises within about 45 minutes your dough is ready when it's actually doubled up in size and as you can see it's just beautiful and then yet again on a flat surface um, just transfer your dough um, onto it and as you can see this dough is just alive it's bubbly it's stretchy and this is a texture that you do require for this so now that your dough is ready all you now need to do is just fly your surface to prevent your dough from sticking and grab a handful of your dough now at this point as well i'm actually going to put my frying pan on fire because that's what i'll be using and i'll place it on a medium heat so that it actually heats up so whilst it's heating up i'll also be rolling my dough if only i could find the rolling pin i'm sure in that heap yeah i found it <laughs> so roll the dough into your beautiful disc shape and um, you know you have to follow this process and you have to do this over and over again but at this point my frying pan is hot so I'm just gonna place my flat bread now in there and I'm just gonna cook this through at this point I'm actually still maintaining the medium heat and because I'm actually using the residual heat to cook the dough first and you can see that beautiful bubble actually forming and I love it and the smell alone actually that emanates in the house is just great at this point Cook your flatbread for about two to three minutes on each side and I'm going to show you how to incorporate that beautiful smoky flavour into your flatbread. It is quite easy. I mean alternatively, you can actually buy your flatbread but it's so rewarding, exhilarating to actually make your own. Now to incorporate that smoky flavour, I'm actually just tossing the flatbread into the live fire and you can just see that it's just actually blackened out a little bit and uh, it's just for a few seconds um i'll say about three to four seconds and then here i go again incorporate it and i can see the smokiness and i put it back and that's just ready that's just it 
you know so you actually get that smoky flavor now immediately you actually um, finish with your flatbread it's best to actually reserve it in a napkin which would a keep it warm and also keep it moist so repeat this process until you've actually finished using your dough and making all your flatbreads that's required alternatively if you don't like that smoky flavor you can omit that and you can actually just um, cook it for about four to five minutes on each side and you should have your flatbread ready now my flatbread is ready for me to make my bijou pizzas the indudu pizzas <laughs> now if you did watch my previous video um you would notice that I actually made this a beautiful smoky salsa um, so do check it out and this is what I'm actually going to be using as a base for my bijou pizza so I'm just um, taking about two tablespoons and I'm just smearing it over and I've just got some grated cheddar because that's what I think works perfectly with this I mean you can use mozzarella but I prefer cheddar and the extra mature cheddar because it's punchy and it has more flavor so once you've actually just um, drizzled with your um, cheddar just place it under your grill for about five minutes at um, 200 degrees and then you have this beautiful melt and here I'm actually dressing it with some fresh oregano um, but you can actually be creative you know if you've actually got some coriander or parsley you can use that also um, or even spring onions you know it's actually what you want as a topping and for the second one I've actually got some minced lamb that I've actually cooked so yet again I'm smearing my sauce and then I'm going to be adding my lamb pieces to it which is just gonna be delicious look at this this is not any other food this is doo-doo. I know that I said this is like simple suppers and it's like the idea of making a flatbread might be daunting but it's not if you follow this recipe it's easy now this is a recipe you can enjoy with your family and friends and you know I'm just actually topping this up with some wilted spinach and I'm just gonna bake an egg in the middle of it we'll add some mushrooms you know you have to be creative with these things you know whatever you have in your um, fridge just use it up if you've got kale just wilt your kale steam it actually and just top it up with it if you've got some kita school boys yeah add the kita school boys look it's all about creative cooking and i hope you're enjoying this I've also incorporated chorizo as a topping and you know when it comes to topping the list is endless you know you can top it up with whatever you prefer if you're vegetarian just get some grilled vegetables and top it up with it now if you have enjoyed what you've watched today so far please do not forget to like the video click on that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and please share with your family and friends. You'll find the transcript with the ingredients and measurements and full recipe on my blog in dudubaifafat.blogspot.com. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as in dudubaifafat. Don't hesitate to say hi if you actually see me on any of those pages. I hope you have actually enjoyed this recipe today and you are inspired to try the recipe. Now if you do, please don't hesitate to also leave a comment with your feedback because I would like to grow. Thank you very much for all the support and all your likes and comments. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, enjoy my so-called simple suppers. It is simple. Just follow the instructions and you will be fine.